Hello everyone, this is Ryan here, also known as Mr. Mighty MZD, and today I'm bringing you my first impressions of the Crisis 2 multiplayer demo for the Xbox 360. This is my first game, so please go easy on me. I do have a lot of better games of this demo with each of the different classes. Alright, so this came out on the 25th of January, coming in at almost 2 gigs. And there's two game modes in the game, but you have to be, I think, level 5 to unlock the other one. So you pretty much only have team deathmatch. There are five classes in the game. I might be wrong, but there is one custom class. But like I, s but likewise with the um, other game mode, which is kind of like headquarters in a way. Uh, you have to be a certain level to actually get to use your custom classes. So I'm just going to quickly talk about all the individual different weapons. I did get a try, pretty much all of them. Uh, the assault rifle you pre you start out is pretty awesome, but I highly suggest don't spray with it. Tap it and it will work wonders at close to medium range. There's a pistol, uh, which isn't bad either, but um, you, spam, you should spam that thing, unlike the assault rifle, because it is kind of weak. Uh, but the shotgun was probably the biggest surprise. It's actually really awesome. It's got quite a decent range, and it's got good damage as well. I found the sniper to be quite worthless, and the light machine gun just to be alright. You can unlock suppressors, different sights, attachments, basically, and there's also different guns to unlock. Um, but the unique thing about this game is that you're in a kind of like a Superman suit. <laughs> you have two modes. You got your armor on the LB, and you got your camo on the RB. And camo is very useful. But when I started playing this game, I found it very frustrating to find that a lot of people were using it. And when using armor, I found that to be quite useless. And when sprinting using armor or stealth or camo. It uses up a energy bar, which you can see in the bottom right. There's also kind of like kill streaks in this game, which are a bit weird, um, in the way they're done. Um, you pretty much kill your foes, and you pick up these glowing tags from your enemies. And when you have three, you have a UAV five, like this laser tractor beam thing, and seven you get like a gunship. But if you die with let's say three of these tag things, you lose all of them, and you have to start all over again. And the enemy that killed you could possibly pick them all up. You only receive a tag if that enemy has killed someone before. And to use any of these kill strike, kill streak things, you have to hold Y. Um, I found the UAV to be pretty useful, as expected. Uh, the beam to be pretty weak. I used it twice. And it didn't do anything for me. Um, I even put it near a bunch of enemies. But the gunship, the gunship was awesome. and That was really good. Uh, I found myself finding the whole like collecting tags things to get kind of these kill streak things to be a bit silly. But when you play it more, it gets better, and you actually really enjoy it and uh, happy with it. There's also like a kind of um air stomp thing, which is really really useless, um, in my opinion. And the map. There's only I think there's only one map in this demo, so there's two modes of one map, and this this map is pretty nice. It's, it's kind of basically a rooftop. Um, there's a lot of way to div diverse into it, which is nice. There's you can climb up things, you can go up corridors, um, and there's a nice variation. Um, some of the spawns though are a bit silly. Like you'll start the match, you'll turn around the corner, and there's an enemy guy there, and it's the same for the other team. So, you know, a bit annoying. And there's a few places where you can fall to your death. Um, without you knowing. There's a spot in the middle of the map, I think, with that as well. And you might see it in this video, where I just fall to my death and I'm like, what the hell just going on? <laughs> so, um, this is before I change the settings, but um, when you play Crisis 2, the HUD moves around a lot um, to give that sense that you are this superhuman soldier thing. Um, and, I, and you can change the settings, you can turn that off, and I highly suggest you do, because it makes you play better. Um, and a lot of people complaining, including the press, about like the controls and the sensitivity. And yeah, the sensitivity when you're aiming down sights could be put up a notch a bit, to be honest. And um, as for the control, I think the controls are fine, to be honest. Um, I don't really have a problem with them. They do take some time getting used to, but that's like with any other game. You get used to some unique controls, and an hour or later, you it's it's become second nature. Uh, the gun sounds are pretty awesome. They actually sound like guns <laughs> and uh, but the when you hear the gun sounds in the background is a bit lacking which is a shame uh, it took me about five minutes to find my first match they got a lot quicker when more people were downloading the demo so that was good um, all the games I pretty played of this demo they, they were pretty balanced which was a bit weird I'm not sure if it's like a kind of skill system involved but a lot of the times I found myself the match being really close or really hectic and the one of the last things I'll say is that like a lot of modern shooters, you kind of have like the little radar. I don't like it in the bottom left. I just, 
it, it might be just me not being used to it. And a lot of people have been saying that, but I think it would be better if they had the kill feed in the bottom left and the map in the top right, the top left. It'd just probably make it a bit easier. There's also like a kill cam system, which is really good. It's, it's your standard affair, but um, it looks a lot better in the way that it shows you how they kill you. And um, that's pretty much it, really. I, I like the map. There's a lot of different things to it. It looks great. It sounds great. And it does take some time getting used to, and it will piss you off at times but um you know that's bound to happen the xp system is fine the design of the characters look good and it does take a while to kill people um so make sure you're near some teammates or something to take these guys out and some people are comparing this game with call of duty and halo together but in my opinion this game has some elements that um are unique to itself so it feels a uh, different enough um and i'll give you another big tip is you must take use of headshots. Headshots are key in this game. They might not seem like it from the gameplay, but this is my first game. But playing later on, headshots are the best thing you can do. And making good use of stealth and armor. But I would make more use of camo or stealth or whatever it's called. But anyway, this has uh, just been my overall impressions of Crisis 2. The multiplayer demo. I had a lot of fun playing it. And I had a... I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it. I'm going to release more videos of this game as well with all the different individual classes such as the shotgun, the light machine gun and maybe the sniper even though I think it's bloody crap. <laughs> you know, this has been Mr. My MCD. If you enjoyed this, please check out my channel for more and hit the subscribe button. I'd be very grateful. Alright guys, I'm going to sign out now. Take care and maybe I'll see you on Crisis 2.